Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seat. Good evening, sir. This way, please. My apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? All that sick word of trial comes on in the afternoon. And she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. As the wench is very active and industrious, you may satisfy her that I'll soften the evidence. Tom Gag, sir, is found guilty. A lazy dog. When I took him the time before, I told him what it would come to if he did not mend his hand. This is death without reprieve. I may venture to book him. Poor Tom Gag. Forty four young fellows to the business and the gaming table. Truly built, thine observation is right. We and the surgeons are more beholden to women than all the professions missile. Black wall that sick word of trial comes on in the afternoon. And she hopes to all the matters so as to bring her off. And the wench is very active and industrious. You may satisfy her that I'll stop with the evidence. Tom Gag, sir, is found guilty. A lazy dog. to make them in one way or other. Long kept in suspense, penitence may break his spirit ever after. Besides, certainty gives a man a good air upon his trial and makes him risk another without fear or scruple. But I'll always, it's a bit of state the pleasure to be the messenger of comfort of the plain lady. But it is now Jack, a year and a half in the service. Let me see how much to stop <laughs> One, two, ha, Jeremy's three, really burning four, up the walls tonight to get them off. Off. And seven silver ones. A mighty clean dainted fellow. Sixteen snuff boxes. Five of them true gold. Six dozen of handkerchiefs. Four silver elfred swords. Half a dozen of shirts. Five periwigs. And a piece of broadcloth. Considering these are only the fruits of his leisure hours. Hey, them. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth. I'm sorry. As am I. It 
And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bride. By your command. in my hand a key, and if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be happy? Curses. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those...